Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of A Day in the UK. This is entirely different for those who don't know me. What I do is I explore around the UK, I chat to people, I visit our gorgeous towns and cities and villages, and I just explore. I eat the great food, uh, talk about the culture, and I have a great time. But this, this is entirely different, okay? Because if anyone saw the last episode, they would know there was an accident at the Peak District. I put a camera in Walter's bag. Walter leant over the River Y with the, the bag zipped open, and um, unfortunately the camera dropped out into the, the River Y. Absolute nightmare. However, guess what? I am speaking to you via that very camera right now. That lens was underwater for two and a half minutes. So I can't believe it. I'm absolutely astounded that it's working. And I, I just want to give something back. I want to, I want to show you four steps to how I got to the camera to where it is right at this point in time. And I hope it continues to work because you, you never know. I mean, two and a half minutes is a long time to be underwater. So here it is. Four steps to bring your camera back to life. Let's get to it. Okay, step one, really, really, really important step, okay? Now, I don't know if your camera fell into uh, the water or the puddle or wherever it was or the sea with the lens open or shut. Um, ideally, if it's open, fantastic, because um, then it's gonna hopefully dry quicker and the moisture will be sucked out easier. So when you get that camera out as quickly as possible, what we're gonna do is take the battery out, take the memory card out, dry them off, keep them somewhere warm, uh, you know, put it in your pocket or anywhere else that you can. And then I want you to take the camera, open all the different compartments. If you can't open the lens, that's fine. Obviously, uh, that's very likely if you dropped it in the water. Um, I couldn't open the lens either, okay? You wanna open what you can and you want to try and dry it out. Take off your sock, use your shirt, whatever else it is you can do that. Obviously, you're probably not gonna have a towel with you. So that's stage one. Make sure you dry it as best you can and then wrap it up warm. If you've got a bag, put it in your bag. If not, wrap it up in a shirt. That's stage one, get that done. Stage two, very, very important. You need to act fast, okay? So I said to Walter, look, I need to go to the supermarket. I knew about this rice technique a lot of people use where they use mobile phones and it goes into water, they put it in rice, obviously draws the moisture out. Let's get to the supermarket. He said, we'll go to the pub. I said, fantastic, we'll definitely do that after the supermarket. Um, so, we bought some rice, actually Walter bought some rice for me. He bought a couple of bags of rice. It doesn't have to be expensive rice, any old rice will do. And depending on the size of your camera, either a small plastic container or a large plastic container, okay? You wanna get them. Now, I said this is four stages, okay? So this is number two, or two and three. Now, why is it two and three potentially, okay? Because if you can get a hold of these home and dry damp traps or a normal damp trap which draws moisture out from there into there, um, then get one of these. This is an absolute lifesaver, okay? But we'll stick that for number three at the moment. So, step two. You want to take a bit of kitchen paper, you want to, you want to put this over the camera because you don't want all the grains of rice to go on the bits and pieces inside your camera. Wrap it up in that, especially the lens if you can. Put it inside and then you want to pour the rice inside um, the plastic container with the camera in there and you want to close the lid and you want to put it inside um, you know, somewhere warm when you get back home, okay? For the, for the time being, if you just can do that, while you're out and about, fantastic, and then you can carry it home. Once you get back home, put it in an airing cupboard, somewhere warm, okay, or near a boiler or something like that, would be fantastic, okay? Um, again, you could have step two and three together if you're able to get a damp trap. If you're not able to get a damp trap, as soon as you can get one, get one, okay? Go down a pound shop, go online, and just get one of these damp traps. It works like a dehumidifier and draws out the moisture. Um, you want to face, uh, if you're able to do that straight away, you want to face this towards the lens. You want to take off the wrapping of the plastic top, you want to take off the foil, and you want to face that towards the lens to draw out the moisture. If you couldn't extend your camera lens, and there was no way of doing that because it was absolutely buggered, then just face it towards it anyway. Put it in that plastic container, shut the lid and leave it. You want to be leaving that for, it's like a recipe, isn't it? <laughs> You would be leaving that for, I reckon, about a week, okay? 
That's what you want to do. So that's number two and three together, okay? Very important. Right, step four, this is key, okay? Now hopefully, hopefully, you are able to fire up your camera. Please, okay? I was able to, and I found it an absolute miracle that everything was working but the lens. The lens, there was a kind of an error, and it was shut, and it was open, then I had to try and pull it out, and it was, it was a bit of a disaster, but ultimately, everything else was working. The screen was working, the icons were working, just the lens was pitch black, so I'm like, okay, what is that? Is that something to do with moisture, mold? And I went online and I found this. RNK all day, I'll show you. Fixing moisture and fungus inside the camera lens with pennies. I'm gonna add that to the screen now. Okay, so check that out. This was a real game changer for number four, okay? So having, again, fired up my camera, I put the battery in, I fired it up, I was able to extend the lens for a period right out to its, to its furthest point, okay? So I zoomed out, um, I took the battery out, and it was left zoomed out, okay? Put the battery to the side, and this is what you need to do. Right, so what are you gonna do? You're gonna get a plastic uh, zip bag like this, and it, it clicks together. You see these little click, clicks, uh, clips at the top? You want to get three small towels. I'll show you the size of them. They're only small, they're like a hand towel, something like that, okay? And inside this one, this is the third one, is pennies, you can put cents in there, any of your country's origins coins, you want to put them in there, okay? You want to get an elastic band, you want to take 50, you could take 49 coins if you want, or you could take 48, you could take 51. Does it really matter? But anyway, you want to wrap it up like this in one of the hand towels, and you want to put, you get an elastic band and you want to make sure that's really tight. Wrap it over and over and over again so that you've got this in a little ball like that. Okay, so you've got the pouch of coins at the bottom wrapped up. Okay, next. What you're going to do is if you've got a tumble dryer, you're going to put these in the tumble dryer. Okay, now don't worry, it should be absolutely fine. If you wrap it all together in a big ball, it will make noise in the tumble dryer, and we've got an old tumble dryer, and to be honest with you, it took about half an hour to really warm these up, okay? Um, I did it the second time. If you haven't got a tumble dryer, you can use this, all right? Just a standard, everyday uh, hair dryer, okay? You wanna warm these up really, really nice and hot. You wanna then put your camera inside the cellophane bag, the minute you take these out and they're nice and hot, you wanna shove them all inside with the camera, like this, all together, with the camera inside, and you wanna close that and you wanna put it in the airing cupboard. What it does, what it did for mine was, it drew all, all the moisture out of the lens. And I couldn't believe it. Literally, this was within, uh, I think I kept it in there for about 10 hours, all right? It worked that fast but you might wanna keep it in for a day just to be sure. Stick it in there, make sure they're all heated up, put the camera in there, and hopefully it does what it did for me, it draws all that moisture out, okay? That is all four steps. And this should take really between seven and 10 days, okay? Now, what I continue to do is make sure I put my camera inside that cellophane bag with this damp trap and it does continue to take moisture out so you can continue to keep fixing that there probably would be a step five because the, the lens does need to be cleaned you can either clean it yourself or maybe there's a, there's someone you can hire to do that that would probably be my next step but see it looks all right doesn't it, it looks pretty good actually considering what happened to it so that's a four step process i really hope it works for you best of luck and I'll see you on my next trip. Take care, see ya, bye.